uh, sometimes you uh, a person might uh, sometimes a, a person might need to uh, have have the signal for for a longer time uh, in the cases in the cases where uh, the traffic flow is more or uh, there is a traffic congestion so so here uh, we use the neural networks uh, to control uh, to control those signals so that this uh, the transmission the the transition of signal takes place according to the uh, traffic flow or uh, uh, the traffic congestion so here uh, ac actually uh, a neural network is similar to the bi biological uh, neural network which we have in our brains uh, of course uh, the number of neurons may vary uh, uh, in our brains we have around a billion number of neurons and uh, comp and but here uh, we use around uh, uh, 10,000 to 50,000 neurons. So, uh, uh, actually, we so before implementing the uh, neural network, uh, we first train the uh, train the neural network accordingly. For example, if we want to use uh, if we want to use the technology uh, in face recognition. Uh, we train the we train the neural network with uh, uh, training sets uh, which are made up of training samples uh, these training sets have a uh, input and uh, and and an output so the output uh, which we get from the neural neural network is compared to the uh, output of the training set so that uh, and the error is uh, uh, and the error is de determined and uh, accordingly uh, accordingly the uh, er uh, the the error can be reduced by uh, adding the weights uh, the uh, this adding the synaptic weights uh, uh, which uh, actually uh, which is between the uh, a synaptic weight actually is uh, the when when two neurons a neuron will be interconnected with with these uh, with several other neurons so uh, the point the point at which the neuron interconnects with other neurons is called a synaptic point and uh, there there a neuron can be excited or inhibited so so the uh, so that synaptic weight is adjusted accordingly so that the output can be uh, reduced uh, error can be reduced sorry so so like this uh, if uh, if we consider this neural network uh, neural network in the traffic si traffic signal model uh, we input we input for the neural uh, the inputs for the neural network can be uh, the present state of the signal uh, that is green light or red light accordingly uh, uh, it should respond uh, the next stage it should it should give the output of the next stage uh, the time the transition so uh, uh, here here uh, this is the back uh, back propagation training algorithm as explained by my friend uh, is uh, uh, it's, sim uh, it, it's a training algorithm actually and the conclusion will be given by Prashant thanks Vinod um, so friends, uh, you, have, you have seen all the technology, technical things of uh, ITS and uh, how it's useful for our daily life and uh, how to make our travels and you know, our trips very safer and so easier. So I, I think, uh, and actually we all think that ITS is very useful technology and it must be more researched and in future uh, there must be many uh, applications of uh, ITS mm -hmm. in the traffic systems and you know uh, make our trips and our every, uh, every road traveling safer and and here that's the conclusion what I can say and if you have any queries on that you're welcome any questions? thank you